Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making an easy and amazing chicken noodle soup. So let's get started. First off, grab a big pot or Dutch oven. We're gonna be heating everything up in here. Sharp knife, cutting board, and your veggies. Starting off with one onion, I'm gonna cut this up. And I'm prefacing this video by saying that today I'm using stock I already have on hand, not making it for the video. If you want a chicken stock video, you let me know because it's an easy and delicious thing that you can make and have on hand. Give everything like a nice dice. Smaller pieces, this would all fit onto a spoon, so you don't want any giant chunks. At the same time though, don't worry about it looking perfect. It's a rustic soup. I love all kinds of soup. It's like one of my favorite things to have. And this soup is just something that's so restorative and it just brings back childhood memories, it warms you up and makes you feel good. We're adding garlic to the soup, of course. It gives you a ton of flavor. I wanna tell everyone at home, this is garlic. That stuff you get in a jar is not, it is an illusion. <laughs> so don't buy that, don't use it. It's a total time saver, which I get, but this flavor is gonna be much more amazing. So the recipe calls for four garlic cloves, but I'm feeling seven or eight garlic cloves on this right now. And if anyone says anything, I'm making it the whole head. Give it a smash. These skins are like one of my least favorite parts about uh, dealing with garlic. That and it's like sticky, but giving it a smash removes it really easily and also helps release the oil that's inside of the garlic, giving you a ton of flavor. Let's give it a nice mince. Had a lot of viewer requests for this recipe and today Lachlan and George are a little bit under the weather. So this soup is gonna make them feel really great. Almost through my chopping, but right now we're gonna go into our pot and get it nice and cozy so those veggies have a place to go. Whenever you're making something like soup, you just wanna keep going, not waiting around in the kitchen doing nothing. So go ahead and stage things out. A little bit of chopping, get the butter heated, finish the chopping. There are so many variations on chicken noodle soup. I'm gonna give you a couple suggestions throughout the video. If you want one of my favorite Greek varieties, Avgolemino, it's in my cookbook. You can pre-order it now. Link in the description box below. Following the bite-sized rule, some of your carrots are a little bit large. So instead of having giant carrot moons, we're also gonna be chopping those up just a little bit more. When you chop the carrots, don't go paper thin on this because they will just dissolve into nothing as you touch them once the soup's all heated up. They need a little bit of body and substance. So bite-sized, but substantial. There we go, that looks great. Big rustic pieces of carrot, see? We also want three celery ribs. Celery gets a bad rap. It is so packed with flavor. We grow it in our garden um, during the growing season and one, you find out it needs a lot of water to grow and some sandy soil, but it is so flavorful. This stuff's good too. It's not quite as like celery forward, but it'll play really nicely in our dish. Once again, you wanna have slightly chunky pieces here. Don't go too thin. I can see my butter is smelling amazing. This browning butter isn't burnt. It's just caramelizing and giving you even more flavor. Gonna add the onions the carrots, the celery, and the garlic as well. Add the garlic in last though, I don't want it to burn. So over this medium heat, I'm gonna stir frequently because I want everything to cook. The garlic is gonna melt and impart a ton of flavor. It's not really melting, but the flavor is gonna melt in your mouth. And you just don't want anything to burn. So stir, 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 about eight minutes. It will depend on your cooktop though. Propane, so hot. Gas, ah, oh, nice and medium, and electric is all over the place. Electric takes longer. If you're like, John, this sounds great. I don't have the time. I really just like watching cooking shows. I don't like actually cooking. Let me tell you, here are the time savers. You're gonna use store-bought chicken broth. You're gonna buy a mirepoix mixture from the supermarket, and that is just carrots celery and onion pre-chopped. You get them in like a big deli container. They're in the grocery store in your veggie section. Pop that in and you're just mincing the garlic. I'm still making you mince the garlic. <laughs> and then there are also like so many varieties that you could do for this. Today, for example, I'm gonna use chicken breasts because at my house, everyone else loves white meat. I love like the flavorful dark meat, but that's okay, we compromise. You could use the whole chicken and there's different ways to do that. It's like, there's just a ton of variety here. Also, more veggies, swap out the veggies. You could add peas and anything else. It's really forgiving. So it's just about what do you have on hand and what do you love eating? 
So right now I'm stirring and I'm looking for the onions to turn translucent and they're almost there. They have a beautiful buttery color right now and they're getting very close. The more they cook down, they're gonna get a little bit sweeter. It's just some more depth of flavor and you also want those onions to give you everything they have. Speaking of the chicken, I have two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breasts right here. You could use bone-in skin on if you wanted. You could have quarters or thighs or whatever else. It's just gonna be some more picking apart later, which is totally fine. Once your onions are nice and translucent, we're gonna add our chicken breasts in. Make some room just so it has contact on the pan. It's kind of optional, but I like doing that. And two pounds is gonna be like three good-sized chicken breasts. I have one extra here for something else delicious. <laughs> I'm also gonna grab some bay leaves. These guys are gonna steep in the broth we're gonna add and give you so much flavor. Bay leaves are amazing and they really add another wonderful note to any dish they're in. It's time for about eight cups of chicken stock. You can add your own homemade chicken stock, you can buy it, you can borrow it, and it will work just great. It's time to bring this to a simmer and then we can reduce to medium low heat. Right now, it's fairly cold. <laughs> The inner science teacher in me has to say this, chicken soup gets such a good reputation for being good when you have a cold or you're ill, and this is why. One, yes, it's nutritious, that's great. Has a lot of liquids, that's also great. But you're eating it warm with a bowl. Should be actually hot, not warm. And the steam is going into your nostrils. And it's killing the virus. It's the heat from the steam that's helping clear you out and also like shed some of that virus away. It's also why tea is good for you too. Once your soup comes to a simmer, we're gonna reduce the heat down to medium low and let that bubble away until the chicken cooks all the way through. It'll be about 20 minutes, but it totally depends on the size of the chicken pieces you're using as well as the type. So just keep an eye on it. And if you want, you could definitely use a thermopen or whatever just to temp it out and make sure it's all the way cooked through. It's better safe than sorry. Here I used bay leaves so far, but if you wanted to, you could add a sprig of rosemary, you could add some more thyme to it. I'm gonna be adding a couple more fresh herbs at the very end, but they're more delicate, so they really are just gonna be a final finish. The more woody ones like rosemary, you can add now and they'll impart their flavor as that warm liquid steeps into them. <laughs> In fact, why don't we add some fresh thyme right now? There's a couple things you could do. You could just add thyme in whole and fish it out later. You could have also given it a really fine chop or strip the leaves off like this. You could also wrap it in a cheesecloth and drop that right in. Someone's been stealing my cheesecloth though. Not gonna name names. These guys can go right in here. They're gonna be delicious. I'll just fish them out later. Scratch that, I'm gonna make a better choice and tie this together in a little bouquet of um, onions, garlic, and thyme. And that way it'll be much easier to fish out and I won't have any stray stems stalking around. These guys tempt at 160, they are done. So I'm taking my chicken out, setting it aside to cool for just a few minutes because it's scalding hot and needs to rest. And while that cools, I just wanna to talk to you about the added flavoring. I'm gonna finish this soup off with lemon juice. It really brightens things up, but I can't waste a lemon zest situation. So I'm using my rasp, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of lemon zest into the soup. It will also give me a ton of flavor. My chicken's a bit cooler, so I'm going to give it a cut. I have a thing about chopped chicken though, that and burnt eggs, so. Just rip it up into pieces. I think that looks much better. It'll also sit nicer on your spoon. So it's going back into the pot and everything's gonna come together really quickly now. One thing I wanna tell you is if you're making this soup ahead of time or if you're making it and you wanna freeze, which you can do, although not the best, just don't add the noodles until you're ready to serve. So when you're warming it up, add the noodles back in, let them cook. And that way it'll have a little bit of texture. Otherwise they'll be like those mush noodles you get in a can, which are not cool. You can let me know in the comments if shredded chicken is your thing or if you find the cubed chicken to be more appealing. All right, chicken's all in there. Give it a stir and it's time to taste this. What seasonings do we want in here? I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. About three quarters of a teaspoon of salt is a nice place to start, but you could taste it right away. Sometimes stock can be a little salty, depends. Let's see where we're at. Oh my God, it's hot. My tongue just burnt off. It's pretty close. Add a little bit more salt in there. I'm increasing the heat to medium and we're gonna add about two cups of egg noodles. In you go. 
These guys are so silky and amazing once they're cooked. Stir that in, they just need to be covered up. And about the egg noodles, there's two things. One, they will soak up a good amount of liquid. So if your soup's been simmering away and it's getting a little bit low, you can add some water in, you could add some more chicken stock in if you have it. Two, don't cook your egg noodles until they're all the way cooked through. They should just be like, you know, at the al dente stage because they will continue cooking as you set your soup aside and ladle it out to everybody else. So by the time your soup reaches a hungry mouth, those noodles will be ready. But if you cook them to perfection in the pot, they'll be a little bit mushy. We're gonna let this simmer away for five to eight minutes. Remember, they're on the al dente side. I love seeing all these little thyme leaves throughout. It's a nice addition. And these guys are all still um, together for the most part. So my noodles are just tender right now. Mmm. They're gonna soften up a little bit more. It's time to finish this soup off. So giving a little bit of parsley, a nice chop, two tablespoons or more. Totally depends on your taste. Ha! Ah, right in there. And I happen to have some fresh dill today. It's optional. I'm gonna add it in. I love dill and everything. This soup is still flat and lifeless. What am I doing? I'm gonna add a lemon in. It's gonna fix everything. Here's the deal. Lemon, do you love it? Or are you like, meh, lemon? I am part Greek, so I am a fanatic for lemon. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'm gonna add the whole lemon in here. You could do a tablespoon, a teaspoon. It's really to taste. Like I said earlier in my cookbook, I have Greek lemon soup, which is Greek egg lemon soup, avocado lemono, just my um, childhood all-time favorite soup. So I'm gonna replicate some of the flavor here just by adding a bit more lemon. It really lifts the whole soup up and gives you a wonderful finish. The last thing we're gonna do is one final taste. Mm, that is so nice. That is a delicious, just comforting, nourishing, warming, amazing bite. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. And if you like this video, check out my soup playlist.